Stuart, great to see you back in charge of Glasgow Tigers. What is it that brings you back? I got the call last August, September, last season when the previous manager, Sean Coulton, resigned. Um, I said yes straight away, no questions asked. Your team wasn't doing too well, as much as I hadn't been gone every week. I've been keeping a close eye on things just on the papers and results, like the UN, through your newspaper and such like. So um, then I got asked to stay on. Uh, would I like to stay on? It was a no brainer. I love the Tigers, had my wee break, and uh, ready to go again. So you've built a brand new look side here, and to be fair, it's maybe one of the oldest sides you've had in Glasgow, but you've got high hopes for it? Yeah, I think so. Uh, we had a look at certain things, obviously. Um, Kevin Wolbert, we know he's tried and tested at this level. He's going to be very good, and he's also exciting to watch, which I think was important after some of the, the crowds dipping last year. So he'll be good. Dimitri Berger's name's in everybody's lips, obviously, because he's only a young 18-year-old French boy. And there's an excitement when a new rider comes along, so I think everybody's looking forward to see him. Like Sir Mark Lemon, Rusty Harris and Teal Piper, you kind of know what you're getting. And I felt we needed that. We couldn't afford too many gambles this year. After last year, maybe just gambling with too many riders at one time. So we went for the kind of tried and tested, I would say. Um, obviously, unlucky for Joey Ringwood that he never managed to go over because uh, of the winter with the visas and such like. But we're sitting, we're starting the season, sorry, with two four-point-plus riders, which has got to be good. Last time we've done that in 2011 with Nick Morris and Rajkowski, we won the league. So there's a good omen. So I think the balance is just about right. But again, it's up to the riders to do it when it matters. It's great to see Glasgow still here because year and year, I think you said, it's a struggle to keep this club running. Um, what sort of financial condition are Glasgow Tigers in right now? Well, I think they're selling a lot better than where they are. I don't really take too much to do with that side of it because I'm just a team manager. I don't have any promoting duties, which 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 pleases me because I don't have the, the worry of the finances. It's left to other people. But I think they've got new sponsors, which is good. I know Western Commercial is still on board, you know, but Allied are, are big in this area. They're, they're Speedway fans, which is great again. Joe Scott was fantastic for the club with Western Commercial. He's still there. Uh, Kim McCurdy does a wonderful job in the background. I think there's there's a fair amount of money put, be put aside, you know, in case they're running financial troubles, maybe May, June, July, which normally happens. So I'm hopeful this year that, that we can put that to one side because it does it, it does take up the distracts people. It gets to the riders. Uh, last year it was mentioned about floodlights and maybe Friday night racing as well. How are those two? I, th I, I, I think that was um, a long shot to say the least. Um, I mean, you get your closest neighbours Edinburgh just through rain the Friday night. That was never going to happen. Saturday night, I don't know. It's all right for clubs like maybe Berwick, Workington. They disrespect them because there's the wee towns. There's not a lot to do. Glasgow's a booming city. Saturday night, folk going to the city. I think if we were looking at floodlights, and I still think it would be ideal because this place under the lights would be amazing. I think Monday night would be the night to go. There is no Premier League club that rides on a Monday night in Britain anywhere. You don't have Champions League football. Um, you don't have UEFA Cup football, whatever it's called now. So I think Monday night, if the the promotion and the directors are seriously looking at it and they ask me my opinion, I would try Monday night. Because I know we had Sheffield here a couple of years ago, we won the league and it was a Monday night and we had our biggest crowd this season. And even though it wasn't under the lights, it was fantastic. It's just, it's easier for the track. It, it stays damper for longer because the temperature's cooled down a wee bit. So there is, and I think the riders like it as well. So. And finally, Stuart, we're living in the digital age now. There's a fella on Twitter who calls himself Glesga Gaffer. Claims to be you. It's, is it you? It's not me. Who is it? I don't know. It's I, you, I, I don't. It? I don't tweet. I can. I it can assure you. It's an Erskine tang. It's, twang even. It's, well. it's, it's, it's not me. I've been asked on numerous occasions about it. He's actually funnier than me. Some of the quotes. Yeah, That's so, why I thought it was you. It's not. I can assure you. It's not me.